Okay. Uh, what we've got, if you look at this equation, hopefully you've, you've got it written out now. Let's see if you're right. Uh, first thing you've got to remember, the positives will trade places, okay? Or you can say they're going to switch, or the negatives, they'll trade places, but it's got to be both the same. So we'll say we know the first ones are positive, the second ones are negative. So we're going to switch lead and sodium. So we'll write out now PB. CO3. CO3. Now, my question to you. We're not given the charge of this lead. It could be plus 2, it could be plus 4. However, look at this, look at this. You've got a 2 for nitrate here. So nitrate is minus 1, right? So what does that tell you probably that the charge on lead is? Two. Plus 2. It's plus 2. You got to use your deductive reasoning to figure that out. Now, carbonate, they tell you that one in the ion chart. It's negative 2, so you're good there. You write your next formula. You've got Na, NO3. Now, is that good? No. Well, what's the charge on sodium? Plus one. Plus one. What's the charge on nitrate? Minus two. It's no, minus, minus one. Yeah. So you're good. No. Oh, so you just cancel out the two Now. No. Now the next step, Barada, pay attention. Now the next step, you need to balance it, but if you look, you have two nitrates and two sodiums here. You have one of each here, but look, they happen to be in the same compound. So literally all you do, put a two there and you're done, it's balanced. Now. Now risk, is lead carbonate a solid or dissolved in solution? So lead carbonate is aqueous? No. It's a solid. Adib, what is it? Solid. So it's insoluble. What about sodium nitrate? It is aqueous. So, since we have solid and aqueous, you know that there is a reaction taking place. So that's, that's part one of all of this. Now the next part, this is the new part. Here's what we've got to do. The, the new part is this. You have now got to split them up if they are aqueous. So just like the example from the previous page, you have to separate them if they are dissolving in solution only. So which one of these four is going to stay together? PBCO3. PBCO3. So I'm writing now the total ionic equation. So what we're going to do, I'm kind of running out of space here. You're going to write down PBCO3. It's a solid. Just to save yourself the trouble. It doesn't spread apart. No, that's just part one of this little deal. How do I know? Because it's a solid. It doesn't break apart. You write it down. Okay, next. Now, let's go back to the beginning and separate them. So, to do this, hang on, I'll put the screen back on so we get this. There. Is that better? I was looking at the background. Now, what you've got to do, PBNO3, is it aqueous? Yes, it is. So here's how we do this. You have to break it apart into lead ions and nitrate ions. So what that means is you just simply write it out. You write PB. Now, how many of those do you have? One. You have one PB, right? So you just leave it alone. What's the charge on it? What did we say the charge is? Plus two. Now, is it aqueous or not? Is it aqueous? Yes. What? Risk. Is that entire compound aqueous? Yes. How did I get that? Well, you look it up. Lead, lead nitrate, it tells you it's aqueous. Everything with nitrate is aqueous right now. So, you then write a plus out. 
What's the next thing we're going to write down now? No. How many of those do we have? Two of them. So you write that out. It is aqueous. Okay. We broke apart our first thing. Next. You write another plus, now we're getting to the next compound. That's also aqueous, so you're going to write down Na. You've got two of them, so you put two out front. It's aqueous. What's the charge of NO3? Uh, NO3 is minus one, sorry. Plus. Now, you get to carbonate, CO3. You only have one of those. Its charge is minus two. It's aqueous. You draw your arrow. So that was a lot. You have to write small. I'll be honest. It's easy. It's easy. It's very easy to get filled up really quickly with this. Now, so we went back and we separated things based on their charges, or based on their uh, whether they're soluble or not. Now you get to PbCO3. It's solid. You don't do anything to that. That's why we wrote it out. It stays together because it is a solid. Nothing happens. It does not dissolve. But you now get to to sodium nitrate and you have to break that apart. It's hard to see. So, that is a lot, but you. this is the hard part, I guess, if, if you view this as the hard part, the hard part's done. Now the rest is easy. They want the, the net ionic equation. I don't care if you identify the spectator ions because you're going to do that automatically. So you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about spectator ions in terms of writing down what they are. But now it's time to do the net ionic. So here's what we got to do. Go through and identify what you have on both sides of the equation. Lead is not on both sides of the equation in the same form, not exactly. However, it is NO3. Yeah. So cross it off on both sides. Is sodium? Yeah. Yes, it is. So just so you know, those would be our spectator ions. Those are the ones that don't react, that nothing happens. Now. Can we write those Sure. If you would feel the need to write them under spectator ions, go right ahead. Now, let's write down the net ionic, the only thing's doing anything. It's going to be Pb plus 2 aqueous plus CO3 minus 2 aqueous produces. This is the end result. This is what we were going for. That is our net ionic equation. It tells us what reacts and what is produced and it ignores everything else sitting in solution that does not react. 